Hello guys, hope you're all doing okay. Today we are with you at Nanchia. Nanchia is a vegetable that is eaten in Cameroon. And um, yeah, so what I'm doing is prepping the area where, where I'll be planting it. And once I'm done prepping, I'll show you what my seedlings look like. And then we are going to move on to planting. Soy does not make um, any topsoil because I've been creating a lot of compost in this area, like getting my uh, my leaves, my uh, when I cut my lawn, I put the grass here, so I created a lot of compost, and I also get my kitchen scrap and I pour it here, so I don't need to use extra uh, topsoil to make the place fertile. Okay, so I'll just go ahead. Get it clean and then I'll, go, I'll move on to plant. If you want to save on buying soil, you can do what I'm doing. You can just, you know, the area where you plant your vegetables, you can always just dump, uh, dump uh, your kitchen scrap or grass or your leaves, and it's going to serve as compost for you the, the following year. As you can see, so this is just sample of what I do. So when I put this in, then I'll cover it to the soil and it will become compost. guys so I'm done cleaning my bed okay I'm done cleaning my bed I'm not completely done yet I have this little portion here that I'll work on I didn't just want to walk in and then I don't have enough seedlings to plant there but I'll go ahead oh guys farming is good because it makes you exercise okay that's why I'm breathing so hard because I was chilling and you know it's working my heart and all of that so it's it's good it's good ex exercise good exercise so I'm going to show you what my seedlings look like and then we are going to move on to plants okay hope my camera doesn't fall all right guys so yeah we have our Anshia seedlings. So, one thing about those seedlings is I um, germinated them from the house using my heating pad, and now it is ready to be planted. So, I'm going to go ahead and plant it. See how nice looking it is. Boom, 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 boom. Let's go and plant. All right, guys. So, as I said, we are not going to be using any topsoil. So we're just going to go ahead and plant. So, one thing with Anshia is that the leaves are very big ones. The uh, ones they grow, it has very large leaves. So, when you're planting, take that into consideration and make sure that you give it enough room to spread. Okay. So this is just how I plant it. Um, making sure that I take it from the root, no, from the soil rather. I'm making sure that I take it from the soil. All right, so I just kind of like do it this way. Hopefully, you'll see what I'm doing. So I just kind of take it from the soil like this. Okay, guys. So you see, all the roots are still intact, and then I just put it into the soil. I'm just making sure I give it enough room to spread. I think. No, this is enough. I'm giving enough room to spread so that once this one grows, it once it spreads, that one also has enough room to to grow. Okay. So that is how we do it. Let's keep doing it. So where I have like 
where the spot is large or larger i'm going to do it do three three lines instead of two Okay guys, so I'm finally done planting. Uh, I didn't plant all the way, a lot of seedlings, so I left some, I'll be giving them out. Okay, so we are going to go on to water it. You know, once you put your seeds or your seedlings in the soil, the first thing you have to do is water them. If not, with this heat, everything is going to die. I don't want that to happen, right? So let us go on to water it. Make sure that your pressure is not too high. Reduce the pressure. I'm going to reduce mine. Turn it down so that you don't kill the sibling. So this is good enough. Okay? You have to make it too high. This just means that you're going to take a little more time um, to do it, but you end up doing the right thing. Again, the best time to plant is when the sun is not very hot. Uh, today our temperatures are not that high, so it is a good day to plant. And this is in the morning. Uh, so it's not good to plant when places are very hot. Because your plants can easily die. So your siblings can easily die from the planting. That's how you see my, 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 my siblings are still looking very firm, uh, they still look fresh, they are not uh, weathered yet because the, the temperature is very, very conducive for them to, to be transplanted at this moment. So when you are transplanting, just keep that in mind, uh, be it huckleberry, jamanjama, or water leaf, or ancha, anything that you are transplanting. Let's make sure that the temperature is favorable. You either do it early in the morning or you do it later in the day when the, the temperatures are down, when the sun is not too hot. So I'm doing it. I'm watching it very well so that they can, they can get rooted very fast. guys so that was it for today's video i hope it was helpful i hope you were able to learn something if you did be sure to give this video a like and if you're not a subscriber yet please be sure to hit that subscribe button so that you will join the family and so that you don't miss out on any of my video thank you so much for being here with me for sticking around with me if you have any question leave it in the comment section and i will get back to you with the answers to the best of my abilities until next time bye bye